Hi friends, welcome to Competitive Exams Material. In this channel, okay, in this video, I am going to explain six different ways to iterate over hash map in Java. So, what are the six different ways to iterate over hash map in a Java? Okay, so this video will be helpful for the beginners as well as uh, I mean this question might be asked for the interview. I mean in the interview for between zero to three years of experience. And at the same time, this will be useful for experienced people as well. How to, I mean, uh, write and uh, how to iterate over a hash map in Java. Okay. So let's see the first method. What is the first method is by using key set. Okay. So by using key set, what we can do is, okay, we'll get the key from the hash map. And by using key, we'll get the value. Okay. By passing the key to the map, it will give you a value. We have a method called get. Okay. Let's write a simple program to look into this. So I am creating a new class. Map iterator demo. I am calling it as map iterator demo. and I am writing a main method okay and then in this main method first let me create a map so how do we create a map so map just pass key comma value so which type of map we are creating okay I am creating a map called integer comma string so I am calling it as a fruit map is equal to new hash map of okay so we are getting the compilation error right let's fix this compilation error map cannot be resolved to a type why because we have imported hash map but we didn't import it map so let me import the map as well Okay, I have imported the map as well. Now add the element to the map. Okay, root map dot put. First, what is the first root? Let's say mango. And then what is the other root? Let's say apple. What is the third fruit? Banana. So we call this third fruit as banana. And the fourth fruit as orange. Okay. So this is how we add the elements to the map. First we have created a map and then we have added elements to the map. So what is the first method using key set? Okay. So I am saying this method name as key set iteration. I am calling this method as key set iteration. So what I am doing is I am creating a method called key set iteration. Okay, and I am passing the value of fruit map. Okay, this map, this should return, okay, this should return a map again. Why? Because I will be printing that map in the, okay, below. So let me call that as integer comma string. Or just what I will do is, instead of returning, right, I will be printing there only. In the key set iteration only, I'll print. So first create a key set iteration map. Okay, key set iteration method and pass fruit map. So I'm creating a method key set iteration. Let's say quick fix. And here we'll get an option called create method. Just click on that. So you need not get tense about anything. Why? Because Eclipse will create a method for you as per your requirement. Okay. So now you have fruit map, right? Now 
what we need to do is just loop through this map okay loop through this map by using for each so here it is what iterable okay so iterable is nothing but fruit map i am passing this map okay so in this map what type of values we are having okay in this map what type of values we are having so just call key set method on this why because we are using key set when we say fruit map dot k set so in map we have a method called key set what with this what this key set will return it will return key values of that map so what are the key values of this map integers so here iterable type should be integer okay and let's name this element as fruit okay fruit id or we can call it as fruit id okay why because since it's an integer na so for integer fruit id fruit map dot key set now just print sys out key value equals to it will return key what is the key here fruit id okay and now print the value of this map okay key value and value so the value will be pass this key to the map which will give you value so what is the map here fruit map so fruit map dot get when we say get on this fruit map by passing the key it will return you the values so here we have two different methods which we need to learn as part of this video first one is key set okay as part of this method we need to learn two methods key set what this key set will return it returns a set view of keys contained in this map that means it will return all the keys within the map here all the keys means what 1 2 3 4 so that is the re reason i am iterating on this key set okay and whenever i iterate on this key set what i'll get i'll get keys and then i am printing the value of fruit id next how do i get the value out of key so when we say get of key so we have a method in the map called get okay what is the uh, signature of this method we get object of key when we pass key it will return v that is value of that map for a particular key it will get the value so returns the value to which the specified key is mapped or null if this map contains no mapping for the key so if there is a value in the um, in, in the map for a particular key it will return if there is no value it will return null okay so this is the first method of iterating through the key set method Let's run this program and see the output. You see, key value equal to one, value equal to mango. Key value equal to two, value equal to apple. Key value equal to three, value equal to banana. Okay. So this is the first method. Hope you understand how to write the first method. Now let's go to the second method. So let's see the second method. using iterator okay by using iterator also we can iterate through the map so this method is more suitable when we want to remove some data during iteration so this is the main advantage if you use iterator okay so let's see the example so in the second second one by using iterator okay just write a method called iterator map pass fruit map to this okay by using iterator we are going to iterate through this fruit map okay let's see how to iterate uh, through hash map by using iterator so we have a we have a method called iterator okay we have a method called method called iterator in the entry set so first create an iterator how do we create an iterator iterator map dot entry of key comma value what is the key here integer what is the value 
string so map dot iterator iterator equal to root map dot entry set dot iterator okay how do we call iterator how do we create an iterator so iterator map dot entry of integer comma string fruit map dot entry set dot iterator we'll be having iterator method on this entry set okay so it will be available in java dot util package let's see how what is the importance of this iterator okay so it iterates over a collection it iterates over a collection so iterator takes place of enumeration in java collections framework iterator differs from enumeration in two ways okay it allows the caller to remove elements from the underlying collection during the iteration so this is one of the best usage of the iterator so we can remove the elements during iteration method names have been improved so that these are the two advantage okay that is uh, that we have uh, when we use iterator now we got the iterator now what we need to do in this iterator we'll get the elements so just say while iterator dot has next iterator dot has next map dot entry of key comma value key comma so when we say map iterate map dot entry okay and thus call this as an entry here key will be integer and value will be string okay so map dot entry of entry is equals to iterator dot next so when we call iterator dot next it will give you entry in this entry will be having key and value just call sys out key equal to entry dot get key and then value equal to entry dot get value so you understood right first we need to create iterator so in which method we'll be having iterator on the map entry set we'll be having the iterator so once we created an iterator just call iterator dot has next okay on this and then whenever we call iterator dot has next we'll get entry so out of this entry call get key and get value so now we can print key and value out of this so i'm just commenting the first one key set iteration why because we should know i mean whatever the output we got from iterator map is proper or not so that's the reason i commented first one now let's run the program if you see key equal to 1 value equal to mango key equal to 2 apple 3 banana 4 orange okay so this is the second way of iterating through the map now let's see the third method by using entry set so we have a method called entry set on the map okay we have a method called entry set on the map so which will be useful to iterate over the hash map so when we call entry set on the map it will return entry entry is nothing but it's a key value pair each entry okay we call it as i mean each key value pair is called as an entry in the map so we have a method called entry set so when we iterate through the entry set, we'll get an entry. From that entry, we can get key and value. Okay, let's see. This is the third one. Entry set map. Pass root map values to this. Okay. Root map values to this entry set map. And let's create an method entry set 
map. So now iterate through this entry set map. I mean for each of okay on this fruit map call entry set as I told you there is a method called entry set on this fruit map okay so when the entry set will return what it will return entry so map dot entry of key comma value integer comma string map dot entry of key comma value call this as an entry now let's print the key and value out of this entry so when we say entry dot get key okay get key it will return key from the map so key value equal to key value equal to entry dot get key and then call value so now we got first key value now we'll get the value entry dot get value okay now let's run the program and see the output so this is the demo of entry set method how to iterate using map using entry set let's run the program and see the output key value equal to 1 value equal to mango key value equal to 2 value equal to apple key value equal to 3 value equal to banana key value equal to 4 value equal to orange okay hope you understand this video okay so this is very one of the important i mean if you follow this video right uh, mostly we'll be seeing all the important methods of the map so we'll, you'll be i mean professional I mean, you'll be very good on the maps concept why because you will be knowing all the methods so now we have seen the third method let's see the fourth method using streams what is the fourth method using streams so using streams in java 8 we can iterate through the map so i am saying streams of fruit map I'm just calling this method as streams of fruit map let's click on this method call this as create method okay let's create the method by using streams how to iterate through the map so how do you use streams on in Java 8 okay so when we call stream okay in java 8 right we have a method called entry set on the entry set we can call stream method okay so when we say custom sorry when we say streams right fruit map dot entry set dot stream okay on this stream by using for each loop we can get the key and value okay i'll show you how to get that so fruit map dot entry set dot stream dot for each okay dot for each root map dot entry set dot stream dot for each so inside this for each we'll be printing the value of key and value so by using lambda expression just say for each like this okay so first what we need to do fruit map dot entry set we have a method called entry set on the map and on this entry set we have a method called stream and on this stream we are looping using for each method okay just call system dot out dot println system dot out dot println 
e dot get key and e dot get value e dot get key and e dot get value let's see we are getting some error and let's figure out what is the error and fix this insert okay let me see i mean where this uh, is missing we have this here system dot out dot print ln e dot get key and then e dot get value okay now understood since we have two lines right we need to open the flower braces so instead of that we can also do like this e dot get key space let's call value equal to e dot get value let's remove this line okay now e dot get key and e dot get value but still we see one more compilation error here we'll see syntax error on semicolon okay we need not put any semicolon over here inside the lambda expression that means inside this for each loop okay so now we have resolved the compilation errors so let's see what the output is here we'll add key equal to let's run the program and see the output key equal to 1 value equal to mango key equal to 2 value equal to apple key equal to 3 value equal to banana key equal to 4 value equal to orange since we have not commented the entry set map we got the two outputs if we command this we'll get only one output which we iterated using streams will get only that output yeah key equal to 1 value called mango equal to two, yeah okay now you understood right so this is the iteration using java 8 streams this is the fourth method and let's see the fifth method So this is one of the easiest way using for each. Using for each method, this is one of the easiest way to loop through the map. Okay, so this is also using Java 8. So then we'll see, I mean, this is also using Java 8, this is also using Java 8. So when we should use streams. So this is best way to filter collection or filter map if you want to filter some data by looping this map this is the best way okay now say java 8 using using for each loop just call pass the fruit map to this method And then let's create a method on this. So on this map, we have on this map, just call for each. We have a method called for each. So in this for each, we need to define the action key comma value. So we can say key comma value and then by using the lambda expression okay just by using the lambda expression print the value of key and value system dot out dot print ln key equals to and then System dot out dot print ln value equals to okay key comma value 
let's see why we are getting the error key cannot be resolved to a variable value cannot be resolved to a variable and then semicolons so why we are getting this uh, compilation error means we don't have open parenthesis over here and closed parenthesis over here so all this should be inside this for each so that is the reason we got the compilation error so this is one of the simple and best way by using for each method on this fruit map and if you don't have anything to filter or anything to remove any operations we need not perform in that case we can use this now let's run the program and see the output sorry key equal to value equal to i didn't mention that what is the key here key and then value equal to value let's run the program and see the output so key equal to 1 value equal to mango key equal to 2 value equal to apple okay so this is how by using java 8 for each loop we can iterate to the map so this is the sixth way and let's see the seventh way sorry sixth i mean this is using fifth way by using for each let's see the last way by using for each using using for each using stream using entry set using key set using iterator so these are the five different ways so i mentioned it wrong six ways so actually these are the five different ways to iterate over hash map so if you learn this video you will be uh, knowing all the methods inside a map as well as you will become you will become master on the map so what all concepts we have learned how to create a map how to add elements into the map okay how to get the elements from the map how to iterate through the map so all these operations we have learned okay by using this video hope you understand this video thanks for watching this video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos so in the description i have mentioned the telegram group if you want to learn i mean if you want any videos on java or if you want important materials or if you want to know any uh, latest jobs in java you can join that group thanks for watching this video